Okay, you guys, welcome back to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour we uh, we are going to be uh, discussing some uh, uh, some phrases, some words that we can use, uh, and words that uh, words and phrases we would hear uh, when filling out an application. I'll also discuss some of the things that uh, that you would need uh, when filling out an application. Now, this can be an application for a new driver's license. Um, uh, here in the in the class, it's talking about a new health card okay so um, or uh, you know in the United States we would have like Medicare or things like that maybe if you uh, uh, lose your job um, uh, you can apply for uh, some some help from the government those are all applications that you would need also when you apply for a job you have to fill out an application Okay, and uh, a lot of these uh, uh, these uh, things or, or phrases that uh, we're going to be talking about are applicable to uh, these different situations. Okay, so uh, that's what uh, what what we will be discussing. the uh, The class or the link to the class is here in the Verbling chat box. You can uh, also find it in the Google chat box. All right, and uh, when you open that up, this is this is what you'll see. Okay, uh, starts out here, uh, filling out an application. I'll uh, zoom into this just a little bit for you as well, so you can see it. Okay, and uh, hello, Anastasia, how you doing? There you go. Also, we have uh, Isla in class. How you doing, Isla? Hello, Isla, can you hear me okay? Uh, make sure that your uh, microphone is is working. All right, uh, how about uh, Anastasia? Can you hear me okay? Anastasia, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Very good. That's good. Because yesterday I had a problem with my uh, microphone, and before then I bought bought a new one, and then I have the same problem. But I fix this problem right now. Gotcha. Okay. All uh -huh. right. Very cool. Uh, how about uh, Mon? Mon, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I hear you, teacher. Great. All right. Sounds good. Good to have you in class. Yeah, let us miss you again. All right, how about uh, Isla? Isla, let me try you again. Can you hear me okay? All right, now I'd like to uh, um, offer you some help, Isla. If, uh, if uh, uh, right now I can't hear you, you may be trying to talk, uh, but your, your microphone may be muted, okay? Uh, so what you would want to do, Isla, is uh, is verify so you want to look up here okay right up above where it says verbling make sure that the this microphone here is not red like that if it is red that means that uh, that I can't hear you uh, you can also check your your settings here okay and choose your microphone and your speakers and make sure to save save your settings okay very good all right, and uh, so Anastasia, uh, what ha what have you been up to lately? Anything new going on in your life? Um, well, nothing new. Everything is the same, I guess. Well, actually, like, like maybe uh, last Monday, <laughs> I was trying to do yoga, and then I just uh, have problem with my back, <laughs> and then really? uh, the, yeah, because uh, I haven't stretching for a long time, and then when <laughs> I do stretch, I guess I was too hard to do this and then I have a uh, pain in my back the whole week and then it's just Yikes. done uh, so and then I realized uh, the most um, the best thing in the world is the health no matter what no things no other because we just uh, take health as a granted but it, it shouldn't be like that yeah yeah so uh, is it was it your lower back or uh, the lower higher back. 
no low, low back. back. Yes, and yeah. but it it's better right now. So almost gone this pain. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, keep uh keep stretching it. Um, I'm putting ice on it, things like that. Uh, that'll mm -hmm. that'll definitely help you out. Uh, how about uh, Mon? Mon, uh, how are things yep. going in your life? What's uh, what's new? Uh, going on my life. Mm -hmm. What's uh, what's new in your life? Uh, have you been doing uh, anything new, or uh, have you been doing the same thing, the same routine? Uh, let me see. Uh, Hello, Isla. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, that that's fine, Mom. That's fine, Mom. Uh, yes, I was just wondering if if things were going well well for you, if anything new was going on. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Because, yeah, because uh, nothing uh, special, uh, and I think uh, uh, the new thing. In my life, uh, okay. This, this month is uh, I'm learning English. <laughs> Just that. Okay. All right. No problem. Uh, how about uh, Isla? Isla, how are things going for you? Hello, Chad. Hi there. I had travel. I had yeah. travel with my computer. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Well, welcome, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right. Let's see you guys. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and open up our our link. Okay, it's uh, right here in the chat box. I'll also put it mm -hmm. in the uh, Google chat for you. Mm -mm. Okay, go ahead and uh, open that. And uh, we are going to scroll down. Oh, let's see. Are we? Yep. Uh, okay, so uh, starting off with our vocabulary words first. All right. So, uh, Anastasia, um, please read number one. Okay, so number one here. And uh, tell me what, uh, what definition on the right-hand side would match this word. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, drive licensee. Um, okay. Uh, that would be driver's license. Uh, driver's license. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the car, you need to drive a car. B. Yeah. So um, the card you need to drive a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay this gives you permission. Okay, permission mm -hmm. to uh, to drive a vehicle. Uh huh. So you call it a drive. Can you repeat this word again, please? Uh, sure. Drive. Yes, it's called a driver's license. Driver's license. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. Let's take a look at a picture of a driver's license. Okay. A uh, a driver's license will always have. Okay, uh, we'll always have uh, your picture on it. Okay, uh, if it's in the United States, it will mm -hmm. show when it expires. Okay, which means uh, uh, it is not good past this date. Okay, um, mm -hmm. and then it will also show uh, where you where you live. Okay, and uh, your birth date and a little bit about you, like your height, your weight. Okay, if you're male or female. Okay, things like this. Now, the important thing is that this is a government-issued identification card as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, those are uh, that. Uh, it's important to know what a driver's license is. Okay, uh, this can also be uh, um, um, described as an ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, uh, Isla. Isla, please read uh, number two. Birth certification. Okay, and that would be birth certificate. Birth certificate. Uh huh. And what would be the a baby, birth certificate? The paper that shows your date and place of birth. 
Very good. The paper that shows your, your date and place of birth. Okay. Excellent job. Very good. Now, your birth certificate would not have a picture of you on it. Okay. Uh, sometimes it may have your little feet. Okay. Like this. So it may have your, your uh, feet on there. Okay. Um, uh, it would more than likely have uh, a seal. Okay. And it, it says uh, where you were born born uh, the date you were born okay and uh, and it uh, will have your name on it okay uh, sometimes there are, are documents that uh, that look like this okay other times okay an official uh, document uh, looks uh, a little bit like this so it has a, a color to it they are difficult to fake Okay, that would be a uh, U.S. birth certificate there. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to number three. Lily, welcome to class. How can I help you? Or sorry. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to class. Good to have you here. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe it's getting late. It's only 9 o'clock here. So anyway, uh, my, <laughs> my fault. Uh, let's go. Lily, uh, number three, please. <laughs> uh. I don't have the link. Just a minute. Okay. Uh, is this it? Uh, three. Page? Um, we are on uh, page number three. Okay, okay under vocabulary. Okay. Number three, identification. Mm -hmm. Yeah, identification. Identification. <clears throat> identification, the paper that shows your date and place of birth. Okay, uh, very uh, close. It, it would have no. your birth date on there, but okay, that it's, is the, is the uh, answer birth in the left one, the right one. Uh, yes, it's the next one under. Okay. Okay, it's actually uh, the short form is ID. Yeah. yeah. So uh, identification, we would actually call that ID. So okay. if you are um, if you are at a place where you have to fill out paperwork or fill out an application, and they ask you for your ID, yes. your ID is your identification. Okay, this is a very, very, very popular way to call that. Okay, mm -hmm. that is your identification. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to number four. Um, number four, please, mom. Yeah, um, proof. Yes, proof. Yes, and I think uh, proof is. Um, a person who moved from another country. I don't know. <laughs> I just got that. Okay. Uh, uh, th this uh, proof would not be a person. Okay. Proof is not a person. Um, so let's uh, let's say um, let's say that uh, someone, Mon, someone is accusing you of uh, of robbing a store, and you said no, yeah. it wasn't me. Uh, I was uh, over at my friend's house, okay? And they say, well, show me proof that you are at your friend's house, okay? And that maybe um, there was a picture taken of you at your friend's house at the time of the robbery, okay? Yeah. So you would take that picture and say, this is proof. You see, I was at my friend's house at 832 when the robbery happened so it was not me that is what proof is so let's look here on our um, on our page and see if we can match up a definition so we have proof okay um, look here on the right hand side okay what is something what it what would uh, or which one of these definitions or sentences best describes proof what do you think uh uh, I think um, I have something that shows that what you are saying 
All right is true. Good. Yes. Something that shows that what you say or write is true. Now, uh, class, when we are talking about proof and uh, with respect to filling out paperwork or an application, what they will m mostly ask you for is proof of address. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. proof of address is usually going to be a piece of mail or one uh, one envelope uh, that was mailed to your house. Okay. Okay. Now, it's important that this proof of address has your name. Okay? Your name and the address Okay, your name and the address. Now, if it has your aunt's name and the address, that is not proof that you live there. Okay, because you were able to get the mail. Okay, that is not proof. It needs your name and the address that you say that you are living at. Okay, that would be proof of address. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's it's very important. It needs your name. It doesn't have to be your full name, but your first and your last name, as well as the address. Okay, if not, it does not work. Okay. Uh huh. Very good. Let's uh, let's go to our next one here, and uh, back to uh, Anastasia number five, please. Okay. Library card. Um, okay. That would be library. Library card. Uh huh. Library card. Uh, a card that allow allows you to borrow books. Uh huh. A. Yep. A card that allows you to borrow books. Okay. Now mm -hmm. you would you would need to fill out an application to do this. Okay, to get an a, to get a library card. Yes. Okay, so very good. Thank you. All right, number six. Hello, Igor. How you doing? Hi, Chad. I'm doing very well. How about you? I'm doing great. Welcome to class. Uh, please you. read number six. Um, we are on page number three. Yeah, I see on the screen. Immigrant. Okay. Yeah, immigrant. A person who moved to from another country. Yes, that is an immigrant. So, a person that moved from another country. Okay. okay. Now, uh, if uh, if you are living in another country and you were born someplace else, you are an Im immigrant. I am an immigrant. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, I was born in the United States, but I live in Costa Rica. I know uh, Lily. Lily is currently an immigrant. Okay, she's living in uh, Canada now. Are there any other immigrants in uh, in class? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All but, right. Uh, like you called immigrant the person who changed the citizenship. You mean? Mm. Or. It's not. If living living in another country, and uh, hopefully when you do that, you are doing that uh, legally. Okay, yeah. so if you are in the, in the other country, um, you are there uh, legally. Uh, most of the time, they give you a form of ID and uh, you know a, a way for you to be able to function in uh, in uh, that uh, that country. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes okay. Uh, you can do everything with your with your passport that works as an ID for you. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so, Chad, you have uh, your say citizenship, right? Still. Yes. Yes. And what about your children? Do they have this opportunity? Um, yes, they. Are, my children are, are uh, both of them are U.S. citizens, as well as having permission to live in Honduras up until they uh -huh. are 21, um, uh -huh. and they can also uh, 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 right now live uh, live here in Costa Rica with me. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's go to our next word here. This is for Isla. Okay, Isla, um, number seven, please. Counter. But I don't have idea. Okay, let me uh, <laughs> let me give you a a hint here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for a counter. 
Okay, this right here, uh, this is a counter. Okay, uh, it looks a little bit like a table. All right, uh, but notice here, uh, this is a counter as well. Notice that uh, he can stand up. He doesn't have to bend over uh, to write at it. Okay, so he's standing up at the counter. Okay, um, okay. she is well, well. She is standing up at the counter. Okay, so what would our our definition be here of counter? A high table. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, that's table. right. Shelf that you can walk up to. Yes, very good. Okay, that is a a counter. Okay. Okay, a high table or a shelf that you can walk up to. Uh, so Isla, it's like uh, being at the bank. Okay, when you walk up to the uh, the counter at the bank, okay, you stand up and you don't sit down. There are places where you can sit down, but that would be called a desk. Okay, a desk or a table. This is a counter is a high table. Okay. 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 Only uh, only I can rest. No. Um. What What do you mean? Only you can rest. Uh, only I can rest when I'm going to deposit my money. Uh, yeah. So, so where where you uh, would uh, um, where you would write and and hand things over mm -hmm. to the person that works at the bank, uh, that uh, that would be a a uh, a counter as well. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. Let's go to Lily. Lily, uh, number eight, please. Estimate. Mm -hmm. Is it an ex uh, approximate guess? Yes, good. An approximate guess. Okay, so uh, estimate. Sometimes on an application, they will ask you to estimate. Okay, so estimate the time when you were living someplace okay, or the time you were working someplace. Okay, it's an approximate guess. No one knows the exact dates. Well, there may be some people that do, uh, but it's uh, fairly common to estimate uh, those times, okay, or the, the, uh, the dates. Okay, that would be an estimate. Good. Uh, Man, uh, number nine, please. Um, clearly, I think is um, in a way that is easy to read. Uh, yes, so clearly, okay, um, in a way that is easy to read. All right, so a, uh, a word that uh, or a phrase that someone would say or what you may read on top of a page is please, please write clearly okay that would be a very uh, very common uh, phrase to hear please write clearly okay now um, what that would mean okay and uh, I apologize my handwriting is very bad okay but uh, if you look here okay and you see this this would be not writing clearly okay that's scribbling Okay, so where no one can understand what you write. Okay, but if you look down here, my name is Chad. Okay, that usually, is writing clearly. Usually, uh, doctors don't write very clearly. <laughs> yes, that's that's true. Um, so uh, so when you when you write something out, okay, um, make sure that you uh, that you write clearly so that uh, someone else can understand it. Uh, I don't have very good handwriting. I mean, even even that that's is that's me trying my hardest to write well, and I write in block letters because my handwriting is very bad. Are you um, left-handed or right-handed? Uh, I'm right-handed. I just I just have very bad. Uh, bad handwriting. My actual handwriting is uh, is uh, illegible, and um, and I uh, yeah I can understand it when I when I write it, but uh, most people uh -huh. can't. Um, so when I started working for a uh, a uh, 
a, a, a corporation that was larger than the uh, state. It was a multi-state corporation in the United States. I had mm -hmm. to uh, write things, uh, handwrite uh, reports and things like that sometimes, and people couldn't read my handwriting, so I had to switch over to block writing, all right, so that awesome. people could understand it better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Andrea, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Hi. You can hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you just fine. Thank you. Great. Um, good to have you here. Let me, uh, let me have you read our last wow. word, okay? Okay, so uh, it's okay. number, number 10. Yeah, that would be designated. Number 10. Designated. Uh -huh. um, and um, a high table. No. Okay, a high table is a counter. Table? That is a counter. Okay, okay but designated. Okay. Designated is an assigned or specific uh, location or spot. Okay, uh, we would say a designated. Okay spot. Then, now, uh, Andrea, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. From Mexico. Designated would yes. be like saying designado. Okay? That would be designated. That's what that word would mean. Okay. okay. Specific. Uh-huh. Yeah, so a specific place. Okay? Very good, you guys. Uh, let's, uh, let's go up here. We're going to scroll up to, uh, to the top. And uh, and read through, uh, read through this uh, this brief dialogue. Okay, then we'll we'll go through some words and phrases that we could use in in a dialogue, uh, as well as uh, items that uh, that we would need to bring. Okay, um, so starting uh, starting off uh, off here with uh, Anastasia, we'll just start at the beginning. Uh, please read the first two lines. Mm -hmm. uh what can I do for you today? I need to apply for a health card. Great. Andrea, uh, please read the next two lines. Okay. Did you bring two pieces of ID? Yes, I have my driver license and my birth certificate. Okay. okay. Yeah, there you go, birth certificate. Okay. Okay, Igor, uh, please continue uh, with the next two lines. Great. Do you have a proof of address with you? Um, I have a bill for my hydro. Hydro? Hydro? Hydro. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Isla. Uh, please read the next two lines. Okay, that will do. Have a seat and fill out these forms. Please print clearly. Do you need a pen? Yes, please. Should I bring this back to you? Should I bring this back to you when I'm done? Okay, fabulous job. Thank you. Let's go to Lily. Yeah. Uh, please read the next two uh, uh, two lines. Okay. No. No. Here's your number. When your number is called, when your number is called, go to the design, designated counter. Yeah, that would be designated. Designated counter. Okay, how long is the wait? Very good. And mom, um, uh, please, uh, please finish off this. Uh, uh, this dialogue here. Read the last three lines, please. Okay. The estimated wait is about half an half an hour. That's not too bad. It's not too busy today. If you have any questions about the form, please let me know. All right. Fabulous. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, talk about uh, a couple things here. First off. Now, uh, we uh, definitely, okay, 100%, we would never say a bill for my hydro, okay? We would call that a water bill. Water bill? 
Yeah, so hydro is in reference ah, the water, to water. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. That is a water bill. Okay. Now, when uh, when talking about proof of address, you can use uh, any type of bill that goes to your house, water bill, gas bill. Okay, gas bill, mm -hmm. telephone bill. Okay. okay. But uh, usually here in Kazakhstan and I guess in a uh, post-Soviet Union uh, territory, they just ask the documents about on your flat where you live. Okay. That it was proven. Yeah, if you have if you have a uh, a lease agreement. Mhm. Mm okay, so a lease uh -huh. or rental agreement. Mhm. Mm okay, that would be the same thing. So that would be like the papers on uh, on the um uh, the, your flat or your apartment, uh, your house, okay, what whatever you may be renting or leasing, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, either of those things uh, would work. And and like I like I had mentioned, uh, proof of address needs your name, okay, and the address, okay, of mm -hmm. where you are claiming to be living, okay. Now, um, uh, when uh, when they ask for ID. Okay, and they say pieces, two pieces of ID. All right, so I want to explain that word. Okay, uh, piece of glass. Okay, so when glass breaks, it breaks into pieces. Okay, these would be pieces of glass. Now, we don't mean that you uh, bring in ripped up pieces of mail. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be pieces of mail. What we mean is individual items. So let's say this was mm -hmm. a, a letter, okay? Uh, this was a separate letter, okay? So uh, when we say pieces, we are asking for individual items of mail, okay? Uh, or individual items of, uh, of identity, okay? Um, we, we would also say two forms, Two forms of ID, okay? Okay, two forms of ID, and uh, a common phrase would be one of them would need to be a picture ID. Okay, uh, picture ID being a passport, mm -hmm. okay, driver's license. Mm -hmm. Okay, your school ID does not work. <laughs> okay, um, any your club ID. Passport. Okay, your club ID does not work either. It needs to be a government issued official ID. Okay, that's why uh, we recommend passport or the driver's license. Now, uh, so if they say two forms, they're talking about two forms or two pieces of ID. Okay, one of them needs to have a picture. Okay, a picture on, uh, on your ID. Okay, so your passport or driver's license. Okay, with your, your shining face. Okay, um, another one needs to uh, uh, needs to be just an ID, uh, uh, identity okay um, that would be like a birth certificate in mm -hmm. the United States we have social security cards okay a birth certificate okay social security card uh, in some cases, uh, uh, you could also use a uh, debit or credit card. Okay, debit or credit card. Okay, and uh, your your school uh, or uh, or club uh, club card may work then. Okay, uh, but more often than not, they want to either see a birth certificate or a social security card. Okay, the social security card has your name on it with your social number. Okay, and they usually want to see that anyway to verify that you are a U.S. citizen. 
Okay. Um, very good. Those are the things I wanted to uh, to point out. Um, do you have any questions about uh, uh, any of these phrases that we read through here? Any questions at all? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's look at some more phrases that we could use when having a conversation. Okay. And we'll go through uh, these uh, these paragraphs here individually, um, starting at the uh, at the top with uh, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. uh, please read our first one here. Okay. Uh, what can I do for you today? Can I help you? What brings you in today? Good. Yes. So, um, what can I do for you today? All right. Now, uh, can you think of any other way uh, to uh, to uh, ask that type of question, Anastasia? What could I do for you? Uh -huh. <laughs> what could what could I do for you today? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, how can I help you? Ah, uh, it was before. Yeah. How about may may I help you instead of how yeah. can I? Okay. Yeah. May, may I help may you? Help you. Uh -huh. Do you need help? Okay. Yeah. Do you need uh, do you do you need help with anything? Is probably how they would say that. Mm hmm. Okay, do you need help with uh, with anything? Okay, that would be a, a common way. All right, and that should be help and not hello. Uh -huh. Okay, so help. <laughs> um, very good. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Andrea. Okay. Andrea, I'm... please read this next one. I need. Okay. Okay. I need to uh, apply, 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 apply. For a haircut. Apply for a haircut. I need a new driver's license. I lost my library card. I need to re renew my health card. I had to get a driver's license. Okay, good, good. Now, excellent. Uh, these are a lot of the verbs that we would use. Okay, I need to. Okay, uh, I need to get would be uh, uh, a new a good way to say that as well. I need to get. Uh, I need a new health card. I need a new driver's license. I need a new library card. Okay. Also, I, I need to apply for. Okay. I need, um, I need to uh, new ID. There you go. I need a new ID. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, yes. Uh, and the, that last one is uh, is very common as well. I'm here to get. Okay, a driver's license. Okay, or a new ID. Can you guys think of any other type of uh, things that uh, you would need to apply for? Passport. Ah, passport. Good. Good. A passport. What else uh, would we need to apply for, you guys? What do you think? Uh, drive licensing. Okay, so uh, a driver's license or maybe a, a learner's a learner's permit. Uh -huh. okay. uh, that's what you get before you get your driver's license. Okay, allows you to drive with someone else that's uh, capable in uh, in the car. Okay, uh, anything else uh, we would need to apply for? How about uh, a loan? Okay, a loan or a mortgage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, how about uh, a job? Okay, uh, you would need to apply for uh, for a job. Okay. Any Anything else you guys can think of you would need to fill out an application for? For a green card. Ah, good. For, for a social a security card. number. Mm -hmm. for when you arrive card. in USA. Mm -hmm. uh, apply for school. I mean, college or university. Good. Uh, for school. Okay, university, the college. Okay, Felipe says find a job. Good. Yeah. All right. A lot of a lo there are a lot of things where we need to fill out official paperwork, uh, oh. where we need to prove 
uh, who we are, showing identity as well as uh, um, uh, our address, okay, things like that. Yes, a visa as well. Okay, very good. All right, great. Uh, let's go to our next one here, and this is for Igor. I um, I have my driver. Yes, this, uh, I have yeah, my driver. I have my driver's oh. license. I brought my birth certificate. I have a photocopy of my ID. I can show you my visa. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so uh, I brought or I have. Okay, that would probably be the most common. Okay, so um, uh, did you bring two pieces of ID? Uh, yeah, I, I have this and, and that, or I brought this and that. Okay, you can also say I've got. Okay, the grammar is not uh, not that great, uh, but you may hear other people say I've got. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got, yeah, I've got my driver's license and my uh, my birth certificate. Okay, instead of saying I have, they would say I got. Okay, um, very good, very good. Um, any other ways that you guys can think of saying that you uh, you have something with you to uh, you have either a driver's license or a birth certificate to show? Any other way you guys can think of? Okay, uh, let's go to our next one. This is for Isla. Isla, uh, this one right here. Okay. Do you need a pen? Do you have something to write with? Would you like to borrow borrow my pen? <laughs> borrow? <laughs> yeah, borrow. Yeah, remember borrow. in English, yeah. the uh, the double R is only one R sound. Borrow. Okay. Borrow. <laughs> Very good. Now, um, with uh, with this one here, okay. These are these are very common. Do you need a pen? Do you have something to write with? Uh, would you like to borrow my pen? Now, you may hear someone say, "Do you need?" Okay. Instead of "Do you need?" Okay. Do you need a pen? All right. You hear how that hear how that how that sounds? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you need a pen? All right, so I'm combining do you need into one word. Do you need a pen? Okay. Um, we, uh, we may also say um, uh, uh, you got something to write with. Okay. Something to write with. Okay. Now, I say that. Because sometimes it's going to be, uh, or it may be, a uh, 17, 18, 19 year old boy or girl, okay, um, that is uh, that is attending you, okay, and uh, they may use a little bit more uh, uh, street language with you, okay, um, if you if you're there, and so they may say, uh, "Do you need a pen?" Okay, instead of "Do you need a pen to write with?" Okay, they're not going to enunciate their words very well. Do you need a pen? J, okay. J need. Okay, or you got something to write with? Okay, instead of do you have? Uh, yes. Pencil. <laughs> uh, or a pencil? Yes, or a pencil. Very good. Okay, uh, either or. Okay, so uh, watch out for those uh, those uh, those things. Okay, um, if if you need need something to write with, uh, you could say, uh, "May I borrow your pen, your pen?" or "Can I borrow your pen?" Mm -hmm. The name sounds like the name. <laughs> I would say it's a name. Yeah. Before it was a name. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at our next one. This is for Lily. Yeah. That last one there here on uh, on the left side. That's not too bad. That's acceptable. That's not too long. That's fine. Okay. Now, um, how else can we say that uh, that you are uh, in agreement with something? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, any other any other ways, class? What else could we say here? That's great. 
Good. That's a nice one. That's great. What else can we say? Good. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, you can also say no big deal. Okay, or not a big deal at all. Okay, I like not. I like a big deal. That's a that's a favorite phrase of mine. So not a big deal at all. Okay, and big deal. If you were to create a big deal, uh, let's say that I walk up to the counter and uh, and I fill out the application. They say, um, uh, "Hold on here. We'll we'll call your number when when it's your turn." And I and I ask, uh, "How long uh, do you think it would take?" And they say, "Well, uh, I think the wait uh, today is three hours." Okay. Now, if I was to create a big deal, I would go, "What? Three hours?" What am I even doing here, right? And I would get really mad, <clears throat> right? So I'd get mad, and I would I would make a big deal, okay? So when I say, oh, not a big deal, I took the whole day off work because you guys are the U.S. government and you work very slow. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you work, your government has work very slow. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Very good. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's a, that's another part. Um, when you go to fill out an application, and it's for uh, any government in, anywhere in the world, um, it can take from one to five hours, right? So be prepared to wait because you will probably need to do so. All right. Uh, very good. So yeah, uh, not a big deal at all. That's great. Ah, uh, sounds good to me. Okay. Or good. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Okay. There's a lot of different phrases that you could say. All right. Very good. Um, let's go to Mon. <clears throat> and we'll go up yeah. to the top here. Um, please read this next list. Did you bring to of ID. Do you have any identification? Which two piece, pieces of ID did you bring? Okay, very good. So, did you bring two pieces of ID? Okay, remember, this is pieces. We're not talking about ripped up pieces. Okay, but two individual items. Okay, the other way we say pieces would be two forms of ID. Now, uh, Savara, to bring, okay. okay, to bring is to uh, to uh, have with you. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. that's how we would say that, to have with you. Okay. okay, so to bring that, um, so you want to have that on you, okay? Um, so the other way that we say pieces would be uh, two forms, two forms of ID. Okay, and, and I'm not talking about uh, forms like pieces of paper. Uh, I'm talking about uh, two classes of, of identification. Again, two different items, okay, that you would bring with you. Okay, very good. Let's go back to the top with and hey, here we go. He comes. He comes back. I can't hear you. Not yet, because it was loading. Okay, here we go. I guess you're unmuted. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, all right, <laughs> very good. Uh, so, uh, let's go to Anastasia, and uh -huh. let me, uh, hold on one second. It's got to connect up with, uh, with Verbling. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Read that next, uh, that next list uh, down. Okay. about address, right? Uh, yeah, do you have, go ahead. Do you have a proof of address? I need something that shows your address? Do you have a piece of uh, mail? Do you have something uh, with uh, your current address on it? 
Okay, very good. Yeah, so do you have a, a, pr a proof of ad address, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and let's see here. Um, this is probably the easiest way they're going to say that, okay? Do you have, um, I need something um, that uh, proves your address or that shows your address, okay? Uh, these, are, these are all pretty good and fairly common. Most common, okay, do you have a, a proof of address? Okay, that is definitely going to be the most common way to ask. Okay, and there and again, they're looking for a water bill, a gas bill, okay, a light bill, so your electricity, a telephone bill, okay, um, and maybe uh, maybe a lease agreement or rental agreement, something that has your name on it with the address. Okay, that's uh, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's how you prove that you live there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's go to. Andrea. Uh, let's okay. see. Andrea, yeah, our next one here. How long? Go ahead and read these, please. Okay. How long is the wait? Do you know how long it will take? Do you know when they call my number? Okay. Now, uh, what are they referring to by calling the number? Uh, telephone number? Uh, almost. Let me uh, let me show you. Once I show you the machine, you'll go. Ah, yeah, I've seen that before. So um, let's see. Um, no. Didn't get it for me. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, so um, this right here. Okay, uh, you pull out a, a number, okay, it says please take a number, okay, and it generates a ticket for you. Okay, that is a, uh, a number machine here. Okay, and there's a uh, different, what's that? Uh, no, just interesting, because uh, we need just uh, a person to give us this number from the computer in our country. Uh, yeah, they uh, they can do it. Uh, you can do it different ways. If you look here, okay, um, it may print out a number for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, or you you pull it. Okay, or you pull it out. So either either way, um, either way, you are getting a number. So when they talk mm -hmm. about calling your number, okay. Um, that's what they say. So uh, they will probably say something like, "Like take a number and uh, and wait for for your number to be called." Okay, take a number and wait and so what they're what they're referring to there is uh, you know pull out that tab hold on to that ticket because that will show you which number you are in, in the order that uh, that you'll be called in mm -hmm. okay. and you know Chad when you type uh, we cannot listen uh, hear you I know um, and I it's it's hard uh, it's hard to uh, not type and talk at the same time, but yeah, it automatically mutes me. Um, mm -hmm. I know verbling is is trying to get that removed. It doesn't happen when you guys do it. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. Do yeah, I I don't know why either, um, because sometimes it's actually um, uh, because I don't I don't know if you guys can actually hear when I type. My keyboard is pretty soft, uh, but we actually. As teachers, we say, you know what? When we do need it, it's when the students are typing because sometimes it's like, <laughs> 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 right? it's really, it's really loud, right? And it's like that's when we need it. We don't need it for us. We need to be able to talk and type at the same time, but whatever. Yeah. So, okay, very good. So that that's what taking a a number is. All right. Um, let's uh, take a look at our last one here. And this is for Igor. Please, uh, please read our last list of lines. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any questions, just ask. Let me know if you need me. Holler if you need me. Holler? Uh, yep, holler. 
Okay. Holler Who's would be uh, to ask. Okay. Okay. Like holler if you to... holler if you need me. Okay. Uh, really, uh, really holler is uh, to yell. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's the real meaning of it, but you're you're not uh, meaning that. You're you're meaning to call out, uh, ask for ask for help if you need help. Okay, and if you don't know the name of the person, um, uh, if yes, you don't know no. the name of the person, um, that's not necessarily what it means. Um, if, but if you don't know the name of the person, you can always say uh, Miss or Mister, and that and that's okay. just fine. What about Sir and Madam? Yeah, you can say not madam. Madam is an old, uh, uh, oh, okay. an old word to say, but sir, yes, definitely. Uh, sir, as well as uh, miss, would be just fine. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so holler uh, literally means to yell out, to call out. Um, but yeah, you're you're really uh, saying yeah, holler if you need me. And uh, this comes from farm days, okay? Because on mm -hmm. a farm. There's a lot of space between you and the other farm or you and the other workers. So if you need help, you actually had to yell, okay, or holler, okay? So that's where that comes from. So holler if you need help, okay, mm -hmm. or holler if you need me. Uh, Chat, I have a question. Yes. For sure. example, when you just uh, write down the letter to a person who, uh, whom you don't know exactly, you just usually put like dear sir or madam is it um, is okay uh, you can, or it's better uh, you to change that. madam uh -huh. uh, you can say that or also to whom it may concern to whom it may concern okay mm -hmm. thanks okay so to whom it may concern comma uh -huh. okay comma and then, enter and then indent and then uh, and then you go from there okay thanks okay very good. Yep. Okay, you guys. Well, uh, thank you for uh, for coming to class this hour. It was great to have you all in here. Um, my my next hour is a uh, a uh, reading class. We'll be uh, practicing our pronunciations as we read through a short story. Okay. So if you're interested in that, come along and uh, and check that out. Uh, if not, I will probably see you on uh, Monday. Um, uh, I may work some hours on Sunday night because there's a big chunk of time that's, uh, that's available right now. Uh, I may do that, but uh, probably not. But yes, this next hour is my last hour for tonight, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> okay.